tomorrow and into most of the work week after we get this cold front that we're expecting tonight. The cold front also will be bringing that line of rain and storms, and we are at that low end level one risk out of the five levels for severe storms tonight. Little higher risk off to the north. The main thing would be high wind gusts and a much lower threat for the other severe elements like tornadoes and hail and actually the flooding threat for tonight does appear to be pretty low as well. Our models are indicating maybe up to a half inch of rain, but some spots much less than that. Some higher totals might be possible farther out to the west, but I don't think flooding will be a big issue for tonight. We might have some brief heavy rain and then the rain should move out and by early tomorrow we should be fine. It does look like things will be dry for the most part on your Sunday. Right now we do have the clouds. We're at 72 our highs today lower 80s. So certainly a spring like warm. I even used the word hot earlier today kind of feel our temperatures all over the place in the 70s at this point. But look at live radar. No rain just yet, but we are expecting it to start rolling in. There have been a couple of isolated storms that we've seen for some of our spots north of the lake now around Macomb, Mississippi and a high wind gust there with this storm outside of Jackson, Mississippi off to the east. The main line still just barely getting to around Alexandria and not quite as strong on the southern end of the line. So moving through tonight, notice that we're not actually seeing this amount of rain materializing right now just to our west. It's more this line that our high resolution model is picking up on pretty well. So as we go forward in time here, this is 10 p.m. Again, this would be the few storms out ahead that we're not seeing so far. We might have a couple of storms by then, but the main line by 10 or so is still around Baton Rouge. Now we'll fast forward to about midnight or a little after midnight. That might actually be the most active weather time for a lot of our area right around midnight or just after with some showers and storms rolling in around then. This is by 2 a.m. Some of the rain already heading off to the east and some of us drawing out for some western spots. And then here we are by the later uh, nighttime and early morning hours. Just a couple of showers left over by sunrise and the front continues sweeping off to the east. So tomorrow by late morning and midday, uh, we should be dry at that point. In fact, even earlier than that, a lot of us may be dry and then also we'll be looking for that cold colder feel. Our planner showing through the next several hours, our temperature staying in the 60s and our rain chance really not picking up until after maybe 10, 11 o'clock, more toward midnight and the couple of hours after that. Lows tonight around 50 or so, and that would be by early tomorrow morning, and then we're drying out during the day, staying chilly with high temperatures tomorrow, only maybe around 58. So we'll have that cool feel and also windy conditions. Northwest winds are expected up to about 12 to 20 miles per hour. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Now this um, indication wants to our models indicating that we might see some clearing late in the day. Now some models have it much later in the day, I want to point out, but it it looks like some of us may begin to see some sunshine possibly by afternoon and then by the evening hours and into tomorrow night. We're turning clear and we're turning chilly as well. And those will be the two coldest nights Sunday night and then Monday night. Both of those nights may bring a light freeze or maybe some frost north and west of the lake. If you're on the south shore or south of Lake Pontchartrain, you're looking for lows those nights, mostly in the lower 40s, but really both of those kind of cold. So make sure your pets are safe and warm. Warm. And if you're on the North Shore, think about your plants. Don't have to worry about pipes with this little cool snap, but look how long the cool weather sticks around. Even Tuesday and Wednesday will have mostly sunny skies, maybe partly cloudy by Wednesday. High temperatures only lower 60s. A little low pressure area to our south may make it breezy with a couple showers Thursday into Friday. And then another front may head in next weekend Saturday, maybe with a slight cool down again for Sunday.